Here are some other interesting facts about radio and broadcasting. Number one. In the 1960s, to get around UK broadcast licensing rules, the first pirate radio stations began to operate from ships anchored just outside British waters. While this meant their actions weren't strictly illegal as they weren't based in the UK, their actions were still not authorized as they were broadcasting without a license. One of the best known pirate stations was Radio Caroline, which was issued with a community radio license in 2017. Number 2. Back in the 1980s, people were able to download video games from a radio broadcast by recording the sounds onto a cassette tape that they could then play on their computers. Amazing. Number 3. In 1945, the author Arthur C. Clarke wrote a historic article in Wildest World describing a system that used satellites in geostationary orbit. Signals would be transmitted up to the satellite that would rebroadcast them back to the Earth. In view of the altitude above the Earth, the signals would be able to be received many thousands of miles away from the original transmitting station. Clark calculated that only three satellites would be required to cover around the globe. His idea was revolutionary, way before his time, and it took many years before the technology was available for it to be implemented. Number 4. In World War II, weather reports were censored to prevent enemy submarines from learning about conditions. A football game in Chicago was so covered in fog that the radio announcer couldn't see the field. But afterwards, he was officially thanked for never using the word fog or mentioning the weather. Number 5. Most of the radio broadcasts that Robin Williams delivered in the, uh, in the movie Good Morning Vietnam were improvised by him. Number 6. On the 28th of September 2006, the City Council of Reykjavik and neighboring um, municipalities agreed to turn off all the city lights in the capital area for half an hour, while a renowned astronomer talked about the stars and the constellations on national radio. Wow. Number 7. The Eiffel Tower was supposed to be scrapped after 20 years. It only survived because the military started using it as a radio tower, intercepting crucial military transmissions from World War I. Number 8. UVB-76 is a mysterious Russian radio signal that has been transmitting continuously since 1982. Nobody knows who makes the signal only that is located near Moscow, makes a buzzing sound 25 times a minute and every few years will broadcast a string of random names and numbers. Wait. Number 9. One of the checks uh, which a British nuclear submarine makes to see whether the government is still functioning is whether baby BBC radio is broadcasting. <laughs> Number 10. A Muppet obsessed fan once took a radio manager hostage claiming that he had a bomb and demanded that the Rainbow uh, Connection song be played continuously for the next 12 hours on the radio. <laughs> Number 11. The Armed Forces of Colombia commissioned a pop song that included a Morse code message to kidnapped military personnel. 19 people rescued. You are next. Don't lose hope. Because the kidnappers would let their captives listen to the radio. Number 12. Massive amounts of birds are killed each year by radio antennas, and that changing the static red light to a blinking light can cut the death toll by up to 70%. Number 13. In order to transmit radio signals to submerged submarines, one technique is to place electrodes in the ground many, many miles apart, using the Earth's core as a giant antenna. Number 14. The little plastic thing at the end of uh, data cables is called a ferret bead and is used to block interference from radio signals from other electronics. Number 15. One of the most popular radio acts of the 1930s uh, was a ventriloquist, a fact which baffled contemporary critics. Who would have known? Number 16. On the 18th of April 1930, a slow news day, the BBC's 6.30 p.m. radio announcer said there is no news and went off the air. 
I think so that's a good point to stop.